the year tonight, starting with you, Diane. My moment of the year has to be the collapse of Lehman's Bank. I remember that weekend going online and, and hearing about it, and actually that, that Wall Street crash reshaped politics on both sides of the Atlantic. In America, made it absolutely certain. This household that, name, huge blue chip investment Wall Street Bank. And it was the beginning of a huge crash. And it made it certain that Obama would win in America. And actually, the, the financial crisis brought Gordon Brown's political prospects back from the dead. We will be reviewing that and seeing if what you say is true. Because it isn't always true, you know. Curry, your moment of the year. Uh, it has to be Obama's election victory because I was a cynic that thought it would never happen. I remember watching 24 and seeing David Palmer and I was like, that's so unrealistic. You'd <laughs> only ever get that in America, on, in Hollywood. It would never happen in real life. But and so how wrong I was. If you had been watching this show through the year, though, you would not have been surprised by the result. But I, I still thought it wouldn't ever happen in reality. A lot, always, of, pe a lot know, of people didn't. Yeah. Michael, your moment. Oh, well, I've chosen the collapse of different banks, um, <laughs> British banks. Oh, cheery um, banks. <laughs> uh, HBOS and RBS and so on. Uh, it went to the Chancellor one Sunday evening, demanded a whole pot of money. It looked like a complete howling disaster. It is a complete howling disaster, actually. Uh, but completely changed the fortunes of the government. As, as we went from disaster to Gordon, economic catastrophe. World saviour. Gordon uh, rose in the polls. It's, it's been an absolutely decisive political event. Try not to use all your ammunition for the evening. I've been one sentence. Oh, we haven't. <laughs> That's what I feared. Charles, your moment of the year. Well, a cumulative moment captured image-wise just in the last few days. I can't think, with the exception of Richard Nixon, a presidency ending in quite such a complete collapse on all fronts. Uh, foreign policy, economic policy political contempt in his Shoes being land, thrown at him? And then shoes being thrown mm. at him. I've made you remove yours tonight. You know, I remember at the beginning of the... Uh, the night is young. The night is young. <laughs> I, I remember at the beginning of the Iraq war, prior to the invasion. Now, we all have to make political calculations. I remember somebody saying to me at the time, we were against, uh, but you do realise the May local elections are coming up. By then, Bush and Blair will be in downtown Baghdad, probably being garlanded as the liberating conquerors. And here we are, five and a half years later. Blair's gone, Brown is withdrawing, and Bush is having shoes thrown at him. Amazing. How the mighty have fallen. Anyway, not on this program. That will be the moments of the year, but throughout tonight's show, we'll be having our Christmas quiz. More 